Hey everybody, James back here again with you. And today I wanted to give you a video about uh, cleaning barrels, uh, lubing pellets. I've been getting a lot of questions about whether I clean the barrel, how I clean the barrel, if I do clean the barrel, which I don't um, typically. Um, I really don't care to do it because, well, for one, uh, the pellets actually clean the barrel themselves. But just for the sake of the video, I went out and did a lot of testing for you guys here. Um, actually cleaned my barrel, tried my pellets lubed, uh, and this is all through the Umarex gauntlet just for consistency because the air gun is regulated, 22 caliber, with the Crossman Premier 14 grain, 14.3 grain dome. Then these sh are shot at 45 yards. I do have the shooting clips on this camera, but uh, it, it was like 45 minutes long a shooting session just because I was hand loading the, the pellets with the single shot tray just to get everything out of the way all the consistency everything I wanted to make sure this was you know be the perfect test so uh, like I said people have been asking me about cleaning a barrel well um, the claim is and the theory is you shouldn't have to but if you notice the accuracy declining, that's when to do it, okay? So if you're shooting the right pellet to begin with and you never notice the decline of accuracy, there's no problem. But if you shoot pellets and they're super accurate, but then eventually, you know, they just fall off the radar, they start shooting funny, you might want to consider cleaning your barrel. So uh, this gun actually had never been cleaned um, believe it or not, I don't, I don't clean my guns. So I actually did the barrel. I took the shroud off. Um, I didn't use a brush. What I used is actual wool mop. I uh, ran it through the barrel a couple times. Just basically scrubbing the rifling with wool, not the brush. And uh, but to start off as a uh, just the test just to see if there's any change this is the group the standard group that I shot the first group without anything done factory gun out of the box no tuning in this video uh, no I didn't do any tuning for anybody because you know a lot of people don't know how to do it so I didn't want to didn't want to make it seem like you know this gun is lights out supposedly that's what it's been the rumors uh, been going around but anyway I ain't worried about that crap I ain't I ain't getting into that because that's a whole nother story but uh, this group is just shot out of the gun the way it was barrel fouled out never been cleaned and then I started messing with it so here's the second group that's with the wool cloth ran the wool cloth through the barrel a couple times and then I shot again so you can see it actually opened up so let's measure the group here. Let me make sure this is zero. Zeroed out. So farthest to farthest, since I've been called out on that, I do, I usually, I, when I say groups and I say average, so there you go. 45 yards, 0.874 of an inch, okay? And that's with those pellets. That's, you know, that's just shooting those pellets. I didn't do any tuning or nothing. That's right out of the box, but I know I've gotten better. So anyway. Clean barrel, how much did it open up? Over an inch, okay? Farthest to farthest is over an inch. At 45 yards. Now, let's go to number three. This is where, instead of lubing the pellets, like people have asked if I lube pellets, which I don't do that either. I think it's, I personally think it's a waste of time. Um, but, you know, each to their own. I'm not saying... If you're getting good results, you're getting good results. But if not, then that, you know, lubing your pellet ain't the problem or is the problem, whatever it is. I don't know. But so I lubed the barrel. And how did I do that? Well, again, uh, swab the barrel with the wool cloth. Made sure I wanted to make sure it was perfectly clean. And this isn't clean, but I wanted to make sure it was clean. All the lands and grooves all the way down the barrel. I want to start off with a clean barrel again. And I have this. If you guys are an air gunner, I highly recommend getting this stuff. Heavy silicone lube. So what I did was, I sprayed that in the breech towards the barrel, towards the muzzle. 
this way. And then I took the shroud off, unscrewed the shroud, sprayed it in the muzzle that way, lifted the gun up where the barrel points up, I let some of that silicone uh, lube flow down to the breech so that all of the rifling lands got covered. Then I took a shot, I pulled the trigger, blow air through it to make sure all that liquid spread out through the barrel. And then uh, I bought this. I used to use this uh, on farm equipment. Uh, it's graphite powder, really inexpensive. It's like $4 and that's a pound. So you got a little nozzle cap there. Uh, I What I did was I actually took the nozzle and put it down in the muzzle of the barrel, squeezed the bottle a couple times, got it all filled up with graphite powder till it started coming down the breech. And it's going to be kind of crunchy at first if you decide to do this, uh, but I wanted to do it because I tried the silicone by itself and it didn't seem to work. Um, but what lubing does is actually, um, well, supposedly it keeps your pellets from smearing in your rifling and causing buildup and fouling out and all this and that. So that's the reasoning behind lubing. Uh, it keeps the barrel... Um, from collecting, I guess you would say, lead, actual lead, because uh, the number, they, they say anything above like 750 feet per second or so, something like that, it's just a weird number. Anything above that, any projectile, lead projectile, leaves actual deposits and scrapes the barrel, so that's why you have to lube. Well. Again, like I said, I've never lubed before, or I've tried it and I didn't care for it, and it really didn't really do much for me. Um, but anyway, again, doing it for you guys just to see if it really made a big difference. Well, that's what that came out to be. Like I said, that graphite, I what I did was I did the same thing as I did with the silicone lube. I cocked it and squeezed the trigger and blew that powder through the barrel so silicone lube on the lands and grooves and then dumped some graphite powder in there blew it out that way it collected on the rifling and I actually took a picture where the rifling is blacked out where it's uh, fouled out with graphite powder so I blew the excess out with air from the gun and lo and behold I pulled that off so that's five shots at 45 yards And that's with a fouled out barrel with lube in the rifling, not on the pellet. So farthest to farthest, center to center, 0 0.649, 0 0.65. That's pretty good. So I kept shooting just to see if it was repeatable. And you always want to shoot and make sure everything's repeatable. Well, uh, farthest to farthest. That's about 6.5, 0.65. That isn't, that's a little bit bigger. That would have averaged that, but that's bigger overall. So you can see that. That one is pretty close, except the flower, I think that was like six shots, something like that. All these were supposed to be five shot grooves, but I was just shooting anyway. So without the flyer, yeah, it was pretty decent. So what I did was I went back with the cleaning rod again just to see if there because like I said it's kind of sticky the silicone lube got all that powder in the stuck in the rifling and everything and lubes the rifling and that way the pellet you know I, I noticed a big difference when I shot the point of impact changed when I lubed you can see here so one two I changed the windage so if I would have aimed here it should have landed over here, but instead it landed up there. So something changed when I added that lube. I don't know if it actually made it more accurate, but after I cleaned or swiped the barrel again with the wool cloth, I didn't scrub it. There's still graphite powder stuck in the rifling. You can see there that that group is pretty tight. So clean barrel, not clean barrel, I'm sorry. So straight from being fouled out from any other pellet, non-clean, from then to clean all the way across the board and lubed, and there's the last group I shot.
So, point four three nine at forty five yards. Center to center, exact group, forty five yards. So that's one minute of angle, pretty much. But uh, to me, that is not too much of a noticeable difference. I know tuning the gun, I've gotten tighter than that. So, I'm, I, like I said though, if everybody doesn't know how to tune a barrel, you can get away with doing this. So again, this video I used the graphite powder and heavy silicone lube, swiped the barrel down with a, a wool cloth, not an actual brush, a wool mop. So I got it pretty much cleaned. Uh, I sw swiped it down the barrel a couple times. Um, and then again, sprayed it both ends, breech and muzzle with the silicone. Blew excess out to collect all the way down the barrel. Poured graphite powder down the muzzle till it came out the breech. Shot the gun again, blew the excess out, and then the pellets, uh, you know, shot decent, and then it probably started breaking up the excess graphite on the rifling. Swabbed it again, and here we go. So, best group compared to what I've been getting before with the tune barrel. To me, not noticeable difference, really. Um, but it is what it is, and again, all this is just for this gun. Every gun and pellet combo is different. So, you know... At least you could see what it did. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching as always. And I hope this video cleared up some things. We'll definitely see you on the next one. Thanks again.